Welcome back, Erie High Maritime Program students. We're in the BMC Boat Shop, continuing to work on your boat, the six-hour canoe. Remember to see this lesson that's aligned with this, the scarf lesson for chines number one, on the Bayfront Maritime Center webpage at the Student Center. So check it out. There's work for you to do on that. Today we're doing chines. We're building chines for your boat. What's a chine, you may ask? It's this hard joint between the side of your boat and the flat bottom. It's the shape of this of boat at this point. It's also the name of the structural element that goes inside there, that fastens on and controls the uh, joint, keeps it strong, keeps it stiff, between the side of the boat and your bottom. Now we needed 14 foot pieces to make chines for this boat. And we had some material left over, this Douglas fir that we used in the schooner porcupine. It's actually uh, built the spars out of this, all 14 of them. But we had to, pieces were a little short and we had to put scarf joints in to make them long enough. So, what's a scarf joint? It's right here. It's this long sloping joint that has a lot of surface area. And that's what makes it strong. The amount of surface area, it's huge. If we took two pieces of this wood and just butt jointed them end to end, there'd be a small, very small amount of uh, surface area for gluing and for strength. But because of this long sloping joint, the scarf joint, we have a lot of surface area. There's many ways to cut a scarf joint like this. You could do it with a handsaw, you could do it with a power plane, or we could do it with a jig. And we have a jig here that we built. It's pretty big and it, we built it for making mass. Um, for other boats, for the porcupine. Here it is. It's sitting on the bandsaw. There's a guide that runs in a groove in the bottom of the bandsaw, so this board goes straight. Basically, it just slides. And as it slides, it cuts that perfect joint. In this case, the angle of the scarf is a ratio 12 to 1. What's that mean? 12 times the thickness of this piece of wood in length. So if this thickness was one inch, the length of the joint would be 12 inches, 12 to one ratio. Um, that's governed by strength. If the stronger the joint up to a point, the stronger that, uh, longer that length is gonna be. So we'll cut this. I'll show you how easy this is to do. The great thing about using a jig like this, it's repeatable. Every single scarf joint will be exactly the same. All the cuts are the same. I'm going to turn on the bandsaw. My glasses is on. I have a push grip keep my fingers out of the way. Perfect 12 to 1 scarf joint. We'll do that one more time. And this is how we made long enough scarfs for your boat. The other great thing about doing it with a bandsaw is instead of having a real smooth surface like this, when it comes time to gluing this up, you have some what's called tooth on this surface. It's sort of rough. And there's a lot of places for that glue to go into and key into and soak into, keeping it strong. I'm gonna cut the other end too. Just clamping it to the jig. Running it through. Let me adjust this a little bit. I don't want to be there. All right, here we go.
Simple as that. This will perfectly cut. This cut will perfectly match the first cut that we did. And it'll do that again tomorrow. It'll do that again in a month. It'll do that for basically forever. So, when these two, if we glued these two together, they match, they fit. The same angle. If there are any gaps in there, which there won't be, they'll be filled with epoxy. We can check this, the strength of this joint, with a piece that we glued up together when you were still in class here. It's right here, this scarf joint. I'm gonna break it and see where this wood breaks. Will it break on this joint? Or will it break somewhere else on this piece? We don't know, but we're gonna check. Put it in the vise and bend it till it goes. Clamp it in here. So here's our scarf. I'm predicting it's gonna break down here somewhere. I'm hoping it doesn't break on that scarf joint. It really shouldn't. Let's see. Yeah. Because this epoxy is extremely strong, they make helicopter rotor blades out of it. It won't break here. It's not, this is not a weak spot. There's other weak spots in here, and this particular one, uh, it broke right there. Now, we could do another experiment with this. We could epoxy all this up, because look, this is a long sloping joint with rough surfaces. I bet, and we'll do this. We'll glue this together as best we can, and clamp it, and let the epoxy get hard, and we'll try this brake test again, and see where this breaks. And it won't break there again. It'll break somewhere else. The joints are stronger than the wood itself. So don't forget to go to the Bayfront Maritime Center Student Center page and check the curriculum that aligns with this video. And there's a couple questions that you need to answer. And uh, I hope you enjoy doing this kind of work. I wish you were here doing it. We miss you. All right, until next time.